Uh, fuck that, eight doobies to the face Fuck that, twelve bottles in the case Nigga, fuck that, two pills and a half weight Nigga, fuck that, got a high tolerance When your age don't exist Man, I swear my nigga tripping off that shit again Pick em up You know, the, I hate throwing around the word classic Because I, I, I like it to, 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 to withstand years, you know what I mean, and time for it to be a, a actual classic. Can you go back and listen to it 10 years from now? Look at my life to look at yours. Get some ambition Why you bored. Time will never wait on no man. Society will never hold your hand. Niggas like for people to say that, you know, it just lets me know that whether they really uh, say that it's true, you know what I mean, within themselves. I know that I accomplished something by making them think that and knowing that I got the job done by putting that message out that I wanted to put in Section 80, which was make an album for my generation of people. I said Section 80 because it stands for everything from 1980 to 2011. I represent all of that. Because when I go on these streets, people tell me, you, you saved my life. I never heard nothing like that before. You know I mean, as a kid, I mean, I'm only 24 years old. You know, and for people to say that, I know it's on a bigger scale now. I can't just be selfish making the music I want to make. I got to make the music for everybody. You know? I go in studio sessions and feel like a nerd. Because I'm the only nigga there and I smoke no herb. You telling me the kush make you think on level four? I'm on five. You saying that I can level more? I have to make a re record that's going to have longevity. You know, my pop sent me down and say, the best records are always something you can listen to, like I said, 10 years, 20 years now. People like Isley Brothers, you know, uh, Al Green, Marvin Gaye. My little brothers are singing these records, you know what I mean, these oldies that my parents grew up on, you know, and that's my mind state when I go into the studio, you know. It don't necessarily have to be uh, being a uh, hit record mind state, have to be in a record that's going to stick, you know what I mean. It don't stick in the streets, it's going to stick in your soul, and you're going to always remember and play it. And, and, probably have a learned life lesson on it, whether it's a, a happy record to feel good or whether it's something you can really relate to as far as uh, being down and, and having a, a listener's ear for guidance. Yeah, big ship, I been. Hey, hey, kick her out the studio, Ali. Oh man, you know, it, it be people that I like to get vibes from in the studio. It's like one female. She wasn't giving out the right vibes in the studio, man. She's putting out negative energy while we trying to create. I can't have people that's putting that that space, you know what I mean, and around my, my circle of uh, trying to make something. So, you know, we did the honors. <laughs> That's what we call it. I just don't, I don't like negative people, man. And you just gotta get out of my world if you never. Her feet on the dashboard. Hold up, 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 hold up. Yeah, big shit, pop in. Everybody watching when you 